Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. This week, we are looking to the Word of God to learn and to apply how to deal with discouragement. No matter what discouragement you might be facing in your family, if it's something public that everyone knows about, or if it's something private that no one knows, God knows. And through his word, we can learn how to face discouragement in a way that honors him. Sometimes we just need a little reboot, a little reminder of who he is and why we can and should put our trust in him. Now, what I'm doing is I'm reading actually another psalm today, if you tuned in yesterday, and I'm just going to read it in its entirety. It is Psalm 27. And as I read it, I just want you to ponder on the words of God, to ponder on what they mean for your life and how they apply to your situation. So let's just jump right in with verse one. It says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble? When evil people come to devour me, I love that imagery. Sometimes it feels like that. When evil people come to devour me, when enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. For he will conceal me there when my troubles come. He will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Then I will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me. At his sanctuary, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord with music. Hear me as I pray, O Lord. Be merciful and answer me. My heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. Do not turn your back on me. Do not reject your servant in anger. You have always been my helper. Don't leave me now. Don't abandon me, O God of my salvation. Even if my father and my mother abandon me, the Lord will hold me close. Teach me how to live, O Lord. Lead me along the right path, for my enemies are waiting for me. Do not let me fall into their hands, for they accuse me of things I've never done. With every breath, they threaten me with violence. Yet, I am confident I will see the Lord's goodness while I am here in the land of the living. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. I feel like I shouldn't say anything because that was just so good and I don't want to ruin it. I encourage you to go back and read through that again. It's Psalms 27. I I can resonate with that. You see, it can feel like you're being attacked from every side. It's easy to look around and feel overwhelmed and discouraged and feel like you're being targeted. and, And yet we have to keep our trust in the Lord. Even if our, our family betrays us. Even if people we believed in abandon us, it says God is enough. God is with you. He is your fortress. It says he will protect you. He will put you out of reach from your enemies. Hold true to that today. No matter your circumstance, put your faith and your hope in the Lord that he would be your supply. He would be your provider. He would be your protector today. Take time to meditate on those words and see how the Lord wants you to apply them to your own heart your own situation as you choose to trust in him. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in today and hope to see you again tomorrow for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.